Sometimes, even when an artist does everything right, fate can intervene. One dancer who calls St. Louis home had an unexpected trajectory in her meteoric career. Alicia Graff danced with some of the nation's top companies until events beyond her control changed everything. Sarah Thompson tells us the compelling story of this gifted dancer who's choreographing a new road to success. Alicia Graff is a dance teacher at COCA. Just seeing her name on a class schedule or walking past her studio, one may never know she was once one of the country's leading young ballerinas. I always knew that I was born to dance and everybody around me knew that I was born to dance. It sounds so cliche, but dance is life to me. It's my way of praying and it's my way of um, talking to God and yeah, it's, it's my whole like relationship to the spiritual world. Alicia Graff's story reads like a Hollywood movie script. She began dancing at the age of three and entered her professional career by the age of 17. By 19, she was one of the nation's premier young ballerinas. A native of Columbia, Maryland, Alicia moved to New York City by herself at the age of 17 to dance with the notable Dance Theater of Harlem. She toured the globe before she was 21. I remember performing in the Acropolis and we did this ballet called Serenade which is by George Balanchine and it starts off with everybody's like looking up like this and when I when you looked up like that I saw the moon and I saw the Parthenon and it was just like who am I to be here dancing amongst these gods and goddesses in Greece. Alicia was a natural star. At 5'10", she was much taller than most ballerinas, but her long, lean frame, beauty, and enormous talent made her a favorite to watch. When I was with Dance Theater of Harlem, I had three really great years there. I had um, become kind of an internationally acclaimed dancer by 20 years old. And then my body started acting crazy. After dancing every day for hours on end for almost her entire life, Alicia's living dream came to a halt. A tear in her knee and a diagnosis of reactive arthritis forced her to stop dancing. And I came home one day and I lived on the 21st floor of this apartment and I, I opened the window and I was just screaming out the window like, why is this happening to me? Why can't you fix it? Like, why isn't this solvable? Why is this so complicated? Unable to dance, but determined not to wallow in her misfortune, Alicia enrolled in school at Columbia University and used her time there to heal physically and spiritually. Her newfound strength took her to greater heights. After graduating, she joined the renowned Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. Dancing for Alvin Ailey was uh, one of the single most greatest times and experiences of my life. Um, as everyone knows, it's this company that has such great acclaim and it carries this spirit and this legacy with it. Then, as if second chances are only meant to be temporary, Alicia's knee injury returned at the height of her career. This time I had to take a very mature stance and an adult stance and say, you know, I am 30 years old and I've had a most amazing career in life and I've had three surgeries and do I really want to keep cutting and cutting my body to be able to maintain a certain career and a certain lifestyle and I decided that it was time to let go of that intense dancing life. But Ailey's loss was St. Louis's game. Alicia relocated to St. Louis to be with her fiance and now uses her talents to teach at COCA in University City. I found here at COCA that, you know, they've kind of been able to say, well, what do you want to do? We want to give you a place here. And so I've been able to choreograph and I've been able to work with the kids. At only 30 years old, Alicia Graff already has a legacy. It was once her glorious moments on stage. Now it's her perseverance. The music has stopped. The curtain has closed, but she continues to move forward. I am here to inspire and to motivate because I've only had that in my life, and I'd like to give that back.